Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. I am in my car, parked on campus, got here a bit early before my shift at the Reading Center because Megan said that for some reason parking in our normal parking lot is just a hell shack and she had to park in a student parking spot, work the first hour of her shift, then come back and change her parking spot and just pray she didn't get ticketed. So I don't know what's going on, but God bless, I got a parking spot. So I'm gonna walk over to the library do my two hours of writing center tutoring and then come home and continue getting back to work okay it is 3 30 now i've been back home for about an hour or so ate some lunch and i'm gonna go to kroger get some groceries for the week but i'm actually going home on friday for thanksgiving break because we have the whole week off so i don't want to get too much stuff because we're leaving soon so i think i'm gonna get stuff just for a couple meals and if I need to go back to the store in the middle of the week to grab a few more things, I will do that. Just a small little grocery haul, starting with some Brussels sprouts and green onions and panko breadcrumbs in lime. I'm gonna do a little tofu that's crusted in like everything but the bagel seasoning over like Brussels sprouts and stuff like that. It's a new recipe, but it looks really good. So I'm excited for that. And then the other meal that we're gonna make is some mushroom alfredo pasta. So I got some mushrooms some fettuccine noodles, heavy cream, also got milk just for like cereal and mac and cheese and stuff, bananas, the tofu for the other thing that I mentioned. I've been real nauseous lately and these are just like something really light and easy to get in my tummy when I've been feeling nauseous and it's good to have these on hand. And of course some ginger ale, some mini cans, and then just some bread. All this was $31. Also stopped and did a Target pickup, got a giant bag of cat food for my friend to watch Pirelli when we go out of town for Thanksgiving break. She doesn't eat that whole thing in a week, we were running low. <laughs> and I got this, which I'm really excited about. It was on sale from 50 to 30. I think I wanna try and put it on the front porch, just like a little light up cat with some ornaments. And then some more hangers for my closet. So time for a little chat. When this video goes up, I probably have not uploaded for like close to two weeks. And the reason for that is that I've been really stressed with school. Um, but more than anything, I was filming last week and then I started to feel sick, took a test, and I indeed tested positive for COVID. So that was my second time having COVID. Luckily, the symptoms were really mild. I have no idea who I got it from. Uh, no one I know had it and I didn't spread it to anyone. Um, so that's a positive. I was in bed just for like two or three days with really bad like body aches, like mild fever, classic COVID symptoms, cough, all of that. Um, but last time I had COVID, I ended up feeling really sick to my stomach and really nauseous, and that was actually like the worst part of it. And I am feeling pretty similarly this time around. The past couple days I've been like really, really nauseous and I hate feeling nauseous because that like triggers the same sense that I'm about to have a panic attack because typically like, nausea is one of the first symptoms I feel when I'm about to have a panic attack so I've just been like really on edge and they like feed into each other I'm like anxious so I'm nauseous and I'm nauseous so I'm anxious so it's like a chicken and egg situation and it sucks but hopefully that goes away soon I know that I just need to rest and I know that the symptoms from COVID can be gone but you're still your body's still like adjusting to getting back to normal so that's what I am dealing with now <laughs> so if I seem a little like dead inside I feel like that could be part of it so I wanted to do a little more writing today but I don't think I have it in me I have a therapy call at 7 30 tonight so I think I'm just gonna take a couple hours just to read my book for fun try and chill out and relax a little bit and hopefully go to bed kind of early tonight so I can get after some things in the morning. But the fact that I had to take time off and do can, like nothing at all really stressed me out. Um, but like literally I couldn't even like think, I could barely like read. So I can't imagine like working on a dissertation or like writing anything at all when I had COVID. Um, so yeah, I'm grappling with that and just like dealing with the fact that like I missed a major deadline for my dissertation and now a lot of writing this week is rushed to meet some like expedited deadlines and it's just, uh, it feels like a little bit of a lot right now. So therapy couldn't come at a better time tonight. 
Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Let's facilitate a dissertation writing group on Zoom. The struggle of currently writing and then getting an email with feedback from my advisor and trying to just finish what I'm writing before looking at his feedback is a very real struggle. Um, and I couldn't do it. I just had to open up his email and look at what he said. Because I was like, oh, I don't want to write this thing if he's made like conceptual changes and then I'm gonna have to like go back through this and make conceptual changes. But I probably should have just like finished my train of thought and just like finish the page that I was working on but like I literally couldn't help it just something comes over me and I'm like oh, I got feedback I must look immediately so yeah but his feedback for the most part was pretty good I think he made like a lot of changes to like the just like the writing of things not I guess like the ideas just like reorganizing them into like the wording of some things which is useful I I feel like it's time to take a break. I've been like working, really grinding for like two-ish hours now and I haven't eaten anything all day. So I should probably eat some toast or something, then close out this dissertation writing group. And then I think Megan and I have to do, we have to do a little bit of shopping for a birthday present for a friend. And then gotta get back to it. Changed my sweater because it warmed up some and that other one was giving Christmas time and it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but Megan is back from her haircut and we're gonna go to Ulta. A little after five now. Obviously a lot of time has passed. A lot of anxious writing has been done. I needed to get my advisor another draft of this stuff by tonight which was a self-imposed deadline <laughs> because I'm just like, I need to have like a night where I don't think about writing. I don't think about school. Uh, I feel so behind on everything, but I just was like, I need to get him something. So I just fought, fought, fought and cranked something out. And they were like still highlights in it and it wasn't done. And I just like emailed it to him and was like, here, here this is. He's also like an incredible advisor for giving me such fast feedback and having such a quick turnaround time. Um, I know other people like can wait months before they hear back from their advisor and get feedback. So God bless him for that. And because of all this anxiety, I am feeling physically sick per usual. So before dinner tonight for Joanna's birthday, I'm going to just take like 30 minutes just to lay with an ice pack on my chest, listen to a little meditation, and just like calm down. Okay, it is 6.30, actually 6.20 now. I have to leave and go pick up Joanna and I'm gonna go to dinner. Here's the fit. Just wearing these like platform Mary Jane loafers with white socks, these black jeans, same sweater as earlier, and gonna throw on a little black purse. My stomach hurts and I can't imagine eating, but got a rally for the birthday dinner. Okay, it's a little before 10 o'clock. Back from dinner, obviously. Showered. It's all my skincare. I'm a retinol girly now. Just wearing this Indiana shirt that I thrifted from Goodwill. Some PJ shorts. And I had to shut my laptop and literally leave it downtown. So downtown, I need to go to bed, downstairs. So I would stop looking at it. And I'm doing all the things for relaxation. I have some peppermint tea, also helps with nausea. I should probably clean that off. Um, have this filled with some water for the morning, for the middle of the night. And I just have my book, my glasses, weighted blanket. I'm gonna put my phone on the charger and just read until I fall asleep and try and sleep it in the morning because I don't have anything until a video call at 11. Hello, happy Wednesday. 
It is already noon. I am ready for the day. I've already had that video call. It's actually a FaceTime call with some people from like a local chapter of an organization who are working on nominating me for a fellowship for next year. So I wouldn't have to teach and I could just continue to focus on writing and dissertation stuff as I've been doing this semester. So that would be like so nice. So I went ahead and just like did my hair and some quick makeup for that because I wanted to like look presentable and also because I'm going to work at the writing center and need to make my way over to campus in like half an hour and for the last hour of my shift instead of just doing like a normal tutorial I am going to do a class visit which is basically where I go into a class and say hey I work at the writing center <laughs> here's some things that we do at the writing center you should stop by and visit and I feel like I used to do a lot of these um, like earlier on when I was working at the Writing Center. And I don't know if like people wanted them less because of COVID, but either way, we're back at it. So my goals for today are to prioritize my physical and mental health. Um, I try to eat something before I drink my coffee this morning. And I only drink like half a cup of coffee because I have like a thought that maybe that's hurting my tummy. I'm going to make a liquid IV to bring to campus with me. I am going to ensure that I eat some lunch, force myself to have something in my stomach before I go to campus for three to four hours. And when I get home, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna chill out. I can't wait to just like get a face mask going. And yeah, I actually don't have a shift for the first, or like no one has signed up for the first hour of my shift. So I'm hoping that I can finish up some edits on some writing that I was working on a couple days ago and not have to do much cool today because I did a whole lot yesterday and Monday. Also here's a fit for the day wearing this gray sweater from H&M. I love it. It's super soft and comfy. Just a white plain t-shirt underneath in case I get a little too hot. These jeans which I thrifted but they're from Zara and then these black ballet satin flats from Target the Wild Fable brand. These shoes are actually like really really comfy and I need to do a little bit of walking on campus as I walk over to the education building to do the class visit so I had to wear something comfy. I'm back in my peanut butter chocolate chip and honey toast era and I'm happy to be here. It is a little before five o'clock and it's already starting to get dark out which I hate. I can feel that it's like really affecting my mood and I also feel like the time change and like where we are in the semester is like significantly contributing to my anxiety because I'm like oh my gosh what have I like done all day and what have I done all semester and I know that it's just like playing mind games with me and it's not true because like I'm still waking up for the most part at the same time and like going to bed at the same time but it's just the fact that it's like getting darker it's like signaling my brain to think like you weren't productive enough I don't know let me know if any of you all feel this way, but I'm excited to take a hot shower, do a face mask, and relax for a good solid few hours. So as I'm getting ready to relax and unwind, I want to talk about the sponsor of this portion of the video, which is Aura. As you all know, if you watch my channel, I deal with anxiety on a regular basis, and this week my anxiety has been a pretty pretty high level but over the past couple weeks I have been using the Aura app and I've noticed significant changes in my levels of anxiety and just in my self-regulation and management of my emotions and my feelings of anxiousness. So Aura is a mindfulness app. It won the best of Apple award and it has over 7 million users, which is not surprising to me whatsoever because it's an incredible app. It's really your all in one hub for all things well-being and sleep and overall just mental wellness. It has thousands of guided meditations and cognitive behavioral therapy practices from certified therapists and life coaches, and it is really customized to you, which is great. It picks out specific meditations and breathwork practices for me based on what I said I wanted to work on when I signed up with the app, which was focusing mostly on anxiety management. There's really so much personalization and variety in this app. It's not a one-size-fits-all app like other programs that I've used before. 
It has hundreds of different coaches. You can really get a feel for which ones you like and add them to your favorites list. And then based on that, the algorithm will offer similar practices or more practices from these specific coaches. And I have a customized link for you all, of course. The first 500 people to sign up using this link will get a free trial and 25% off your subscription. And thank you so much to Aura for working with me on this video. Happy Thursday, back from Starbucks. I got a caramel brulee latte and they put a cute little sticker on the top and I didn't realize that it was red cup day. So when they gave me my drink, they were like, oh, and here's your red cup, which is just like a um, reusable plastic red cup for the holidays. So it's a little after nine o'clock. I'm going to wrap Joanna's presents right now, which came from Sephora a little late. So I wasn't able to give them to her when we went for her birthday dinner. I got her a Merit eyeshadow, the Merit eyeshadow brush that goes with it. And honestly, after like looking at these, I'm like, okay, I might need to add them to my Christmas list because I really want them for myself. And then she's been wanting to get into hair care a little bit more. So I got this Moroccan oil that I know my sister has and loves, so I thought that this would be fun for her to try out. And these wrapping paper, just little slices of birthday cake. I'm also going to finish listening to this podcast episode from the Money Love podcast. It's episode 62, I had to slay the holiday season, but like S-L-E-I-G-H, haha. Um, I heard about her on TikTok and she recommended like this particular episode. I've been wanting to get more into like thoughtful budgeting. I've been feeling myself doing a lot of impulse purchasing lately and it hasn't felt great. So I thought that this would be a good little step. I've been enjoying the podcast so far. I give some like practical strategies for managing money and it is making me a little bit anxious right now because she's like, okay, write out everything that you're going to need to spend for the holidays. And I'm like, um, I don't know if I want to see that number, but the fact that I'm avoiding it is probably making me more anxious. So this is probably good for me to listen to. Truly in my era. Wow, my skin is not doing well, but Megan and I are gonna go get some much needed pedicures. I won't even show you the before because it's truly embarrassing. Okay, a couple hours later now, I got the toes taken care of. It was really busy, but somehow it was like only busy for manicures, which was nice because we just wanted pedicures. Um, now I'm gonna go meet Joanna for some coffee and lunch at the Inkwell. I actually already left and was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to bring her presents, which is like the whole point of hanging out with her. So I ran back home, grabbed the presents, and now we're off. Okay, back from lunch with Joanna, and we walked around downtown a little bit and looked in Bonfette because they had the cutest little Christmas ornaments. I got this little stack of books and it has like a little pink ribbon on it. It's gold with glitter, just fits the tree so perfectly and I'm obsessed. And I actually go home tomorrow for Thanksgiving break and I have not packed at all. And it's like 3.30 now, so I should probably get started packing because I have like a lot of clothes to fold and stuff, but I just like don't want to. I hate packing. I procrastinate it until the very last minute. Um, and I probably should like really get started because I think I'm gonna watch the Bachelor finale, the Golden Bachelor finale tonight. But I'm gonna go to Goodwill because I just, it feels right. It feels right. Okay, 5.30, I found some fun stuff at Goodwill. I spent 20 bucks exactly. First things first, I got this book called Bear Town. It's really good ratings on Goodreads. I know this author is a really popular author, never read any of his books though. I got a dress that kind of looks like it could be like a little Thanksgiving moment. I tried it on, have a picture so I could like show you guys a little trying of that here. And it's H&M, which is nice. And it's like really comfy. So I always like to get dresses at Goodwill. And then the exciting thing was I was looking for this jacket that looks like a free people sort of jacket. I looked at Amazon dupes. And then I was not expecting to find something like it at Goodwill, but then I did. And I just think that it's so cute. It has little buttons and clasps. Again, I can insert a picture of me trying it on here. Ignore the outfit <laughs> that I'm wearing in the picture. But yeah, I just think it's so fun. So overall, I think it was a success. Time to stop procrastinating. I'm gonna take a shower. 
because I would like to just like redo my hair before like traveling tomorrow. I don't know. It's weird. And then pull out the suitcase, get to packing. Okay, I've been folding all my laundry. This is the stuff that I'm gonna bring. This is the stuff that I'm gonna leave here. And hopefully that has made the packing process easier for me. But I'm gonna take a little break, get dinner going, and then probably watch some TV. Gotta watch Bachelor. Brussels sprouts, the baked tofu, some spicy mayo. I am curious to give this a try. It's 10.15. I've packed all my clothes and the majority of my toiletries and stuff, but I gotta finish up in the morning, but I need to lay down because I feel so nauseous and it sucks. Just lift this off. Can I have a hot caramel brulee latte? 